Hello YouTube, Croc here, and I hope you're having an amazing day. I was browsing online and I saw a Monster Hunter Capcom interview where these people interviewed the dev team of the Monster Hunter team and they were asking him to rate or describe each weapon in one word. So I thought, why not why not I do that? You know, I'm a you know, I'm a player. I think I could do this. So yeah, if you like what you see, drop it a like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let's just get into it. Great Sword is a very slow and powerful weapon. Um, it's been in the game since I can remember. Most Great Sword minions just want to hit that big single damage number, that 1,000, maybe 2,000s, depending on the game. Every Great Sword users love using the TTS. They love spamming it just for it not to hit. When a good TTS is thrown out just for it to miss is a pain felt like no other in the series. The same could be said when you land it. It just feels amazing. So the single word I would use to describe Greatsword is courageous. Longsword users are flashy. Like any game, any samurai game like Ghost of Tsushima, Neo, Dark Souls, Rise of the Ronin, right? They're always flashy. They like throwing out combos. They like chaining them. And with the now updated system, you you can now do counters. It wasn't always like that in the past. Longsword was once a simple weapon. Now you have all these counters and chain attacks, you know, very anime-like, very quick, very fluid, and seamless, you know, very seamless. Most longsword users love attacking the head, even though they should be attacking the tail. So one word I would use to describe longsword players is animated. Sword and Shield is one of those weapons that I see that doesn't have any flaws. It can do big damage, it can do little damage, it can apply stuns, it can apply slicing, it can apply, you know, very good element attacks. Most Sword and Shield players are supportive, humble, and loyal. Some even take it out of their way to just run a su pure support build by running right range and just healing and buffing the team almost as good as a hunting horn can and faster speeds so the one word i would give for sword and shield players is dependable dual blade mains if they even exist i'm sure love hacking and slashing they miss and remember the old days of old school god of war and believe that their weapon is truly the highest dpsing weapon per second they love sipping around the monster, hitting it, losing a thousand sharpness every time they do a single combo and wonder have to, why they have to sharpen every two seconds. And now with these new flashy moves, yeah, now you're going to be losing 2000 sharpness every combo. <laughs> so one word that I have to say for dual blades is feverish. Hammer, a very simple weapon. As soon as you pick it up, you already know what to do. Just bonk the monster on the head. Bad monster. Bad monster. Anyone could pick this up. You can probably give the controller to your grandmother and she would understand how to play this weapon. This weapon is so simple and so effective at doing what it does. It's just the best in its class. Hammer is just great sword, but can bonk. It's just, it's just fun. And with all these new changes, it's just awesome. One word to describe hammer and hammer players, let's just keep it simple. Bonk. <laughs> Hunting horn is one of those weapons that you would give to your little brother, your mother, your grandmother, or even your girlfriend. You would just give them to, and they might not be able to participate a lot, but at least they can feel like they are. Hunting Horn is one of those support weapons that all you have to do is just sit back, relax, and just play notes, and everyone accepts you, regardless if you're doing anything in the hunt or not. You just have to just exist. For the ones that have evolved their Hunting Horn skills to the next level, these guys are insane. They can apply buffs calculative while attacking the monster, and these guys are insane. 
regardless of skill, hunting horn users will always be something that is wanted in every single hunting party. And for one word I would describe the players in the weapon is charming. Lance is a more easier weapon you could pick up, but just because it's easy doesn't mean it's not tough. Lance, in my opinion, has to be one of the best, like top three weapons in the whole series. I'm not kidding. Despite the weapon looking bland, which is poke, 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 this weapon actually has a lot of flavor once you understand when you can do it, how many pokes you could do, and it just, it just adds up more. Combo that with the counters, the triple poke and these the look at like look at this it's insane and despite people saying lance doesn't have any damage i mean is this damage or is this not damage <laughs> one word to describe it i mean just brave lance players are brave period point blank gun lance users love to show off gun lance is probably one of the hardest weapons to to use for how clunky it is and how stiff it can be to the new new player but to a trained player who's been playing gun lens for years they've mastered their craft and is able to hit every wyvern fire hit every a uh, wyvern blast hit every every shelling and they won't stop they love their explosions they love their carnage that they can create and so do i there's only one word that can describe these guys in the weapon itself, and that's explosive. Switch X is one of those weapons that's perfect for those who couldn't learn the charge blade. These guys love transformers and power rangers. Unlike dual blades and long swords, this hack and slash is completely calculated and they have to manage their gauge to the utmost. In order to be good at switch axe, you have to truly master the weapon. Plus, most of the switch axes look really cool. It's just kind of badass having an axe that can switch to a, a sword in quick succession. One word to describe switch axe is ostentatious. As a person that plays all the weapons, charge blade is no exception to being one of those great weapons. I am indeed a charge blade connoisseur. The reason why I got into it, and probably many others, is because, well, the other weapons are too simple. Charge blade is a very complex weapon, probably one of the com most complicated weapons in the game. I wouldn't say difficult, because it's not hard to play once you understand. Once you play the weapon or watch a guide and something about it just clicks with you, just resonates with you, it's just like riding a bike. It's like you just never forget. People that use charge blade are very chill or they can be very obnoxious, like nerdy know-it-alls, you know what I mean? I'm one of those chill people, you know what I mean? If you use charge blade, you probably have tried the gun lance and thought, hmm, I don't really like the gun lance, but I like explosions. So you probably tried the charge blade and you probably just fell in love with it. Also, who doesn't think a energy sword that can do this? Like, that's insane. That's that's cool. Come on. With all that being said, one word that I would describe charge blade users and charge blade as a whole is esoteric. This weapon right here. This weapon right here. If you play this weapon, you're quirky. If you play this weapon, you're freaky. If you play this weapon, you like bugs. If you play this weapon, you like flying. You like all of these things, and you know what? You look good while doing it. If you play this weapon, you probably own snakes. <laughs> I'ma just be real. <laughs> Capcom even gave you a little stripper pole to attack. Like, you can't make this up. When you have company come around, you ask them, do you want to see me play Monster Hunter? Just to show them an extremely flashy moveset. One word I would describe Insect Glaive is unique. Light bow Gun, a jack of all trades. If you play this weapon or know someone that plays this weapon, they love organized hunts. They love being one of the supports on the team that actually can do insane CC, like paralyze, sleep, poison, buffs, right? And they can also just dish out an amazing DPS. You know, 
having one of these guys on your team is a godsend. They put down traps. They paralyze. They keep an eye on environmental uh, contraptions. You know, and you sometimes you might even occasionally get the recovery to ammo shot at you. You don't even know. One word that I can describe the light bow gun players and the weapon category is a leader. If you play heavy bow gun, you probably miss those old school Gears of War games. If you play heavy bow gun, you probably think this weapon makes you feel like a badass, and it does. It's very strong, it's very durable, has a shield, and is it looks it just makes you look like a commander. It looks like you're playing Contra. You could do virtually the same thing as light bow gun, just with stronger bullets. <laughs> heavy bow gun compared to its light bro gun predecessor it's just a gun that allows you to just turn your brain off sometimes one word i would give heavy bow gun players in the category is mercenary bow is a lot like dual blades very agile adhd focus high octane gameplay if you play bow you like this high octane gameplay you like dodging perfectly when the monster's about to hit you pretending like it's dark souls you probably play Horizon. Bow players are confident that they're not going to get hit. If you play bow, you probably watch every known b speed run known to man regarding this weapon. <laughs> if you play bow, you're probably extremely focused on every single thing that you do. Especially if you don't have dash juice, which this weapon desperately needs. You're proud that this weapon still has one of the highest dps's in the game regardless of how many times it gets changed this is gonna sound weird but one word i would use to describe the bow is sharp what did you think of the words that i used for each weapon did you like them did you dislike them put your opinion in the comment section below let's try to flip this this ratio of subscribers upside down let's try to hit five subscribers by the end of the year much appreciated Anyways, that's me. Stay awesome, stay safe, much love, and peace out.